Okay, so also in terms of who is favorite here, Sweetie definitely the one that on paper expected to be the winner. And oh man, did you see that? That was actually so local man Maddie got his got stuck and he actually had trouble getting the Pikmin off of him. Kind of surprises me. It is some characters, they actually have to really pay attention to where the Pikmin is on their body because otherwise uh, they're, they can throw out all the moves that they want to, but they're just going to whiff. Yeah, it seems like that forward tilt, though, is pretty reliable. A lot of those Pikmin are landing on his head, and he's able to just uh, stuff them out with that tilt. Right. Honestly, a pretty even game right now. Local Man Matty with a bit of a lead here. About 30% or so, but it's really hard to say. That man, that forward to what was that DI? I mean, it's Olimar, so he's going to get back to stage perfectly fine. But, uh, oh, beautiful job at the back throw. Man, Matty's playing out of his gourd tonight. Let's see what he can do with this lead, possibly. Oh, the clank right there. That worked out really well for Swigzy. And just like that, reads the, the incoming chain and with a simple dodge takes the stock. Local Man Matty now has to once more play from even footing. And oh, when you're, when you're in even footing against Olimar at those lower percents, you make a single error, a tiny minute mistake, and you eat so much damage. And look at this, two purples. Oh, that is... That is a horrifying concept. Yeah, you saw that he actually, Swigzy also, um, was not choosing to, was choosing to not throw, uh, pick another Pikmin for a while, so that he made sure he had both of those, uh, of those purples available. Local Man Maddie, despite the fact that he had the lead, and honestly, a pretty sizable lead at the start of this, Swigzy is maybe, honestly, the biggest thing is he's cleaned up his punish game. Look at that. 70% already on Maddie. Struggling to find an opening. I, I like the fact that he's hanging back a little bit more, trying to look for bomb openings instead of just errantly throwing out moves right in Swigzy's face. That's what's been getting him punished really badly. Wow, that recovery. Did you see? There, the hitbox on that Toon Link Uppy is bigger than you'd think, but Swigzy able to get right past it and it leaves him on stage to find an up smash just a moment later. That's going to be game one in Swigzy's corner. And he's looking pretty nice right now. Granted, Local Man Matty started off that game looking really good, but it can be. I, I feel like part of it is that Swigzy adapted, but also part of it is that Matty kind of. His patience wavered. Like you saw that when he was hanging back and throwing projectiles. Although Pikmin eat a lot of the projectiles, like he can't really use Boomerang. Uh, the way he was throwing the bomb was to make sure that it, was, it would go past you know, the Pikmin and explode right in front of Swigzy. That was how he, a lot of the times he was actually finding the uh, his way in. I think that's it's a, it's very demanding. It's not an easy thing to do. But, the very, but it, at the same time, it might be the most effective way of, uh, you know, finding uh, openings here. Oh, no. When you get, when there's a white on you already, and then you get hit, and then you're just like, oh, no, I'm in hit stun, and I'm, like, kind of getting comboed, and this white is still pecking away at my face. That white is left unattended. It does, I think, upwards of 40%, so it needs to be dealt with whenever it rears its, whenever its ugly head lands on yours. Liking the spacing from Maddie. Pulling out his disjointed moves while still remaining in just enough range where he can punish for things like the grab. Ooh! I think that was a Zare. I, and Swigzy was, uh, he got that parry, but I think he was expecting a meatier punish than he actually could afford. And because of that, Local Man Maddie eventually finding the opening, that forwarder taking the stock. You notice that those aerial approaches have, oh, I was going to say that they've been working out, but, you know, at that point, Maddie tried to challenge a, uh, a forward smash, which very few characters can reliably do that sort of thing against Olimar. I love the fact he threw out the boomerang. He waited for the grab because the Pikmin were in retreat. And because of that, they couldn't body block the, uh, the boomerang from actually hitting Olimar. 
Look at the spacing right now. But ultimately, I love that. He gets the he gets the throw with the blue Pikmin, and then immediately he's like, your job is done now. Go, be at peace, my child, and throws him off the stage. Ooh, uh, uh, yeah, take 46. You deserve it. You deserve to take 46. Wow, all right. Nice setup with the Zare. That's something we haven't really seen as much from local man Matty. So I like the fact he's mixing up his projectiles, mixing up his, uh, his zoning tools. And there's another dash attack. The oh, catches the landing with a forward smash? That's something that continuously Matty has actually gotten openings from, where he has a Pikmin on him, throws out a tilt that has, honestly, deceptively low end lag in order to kill the Pikmin, and then he uses that chance to either use a burst option or just catch Swigzy when he's unprepared. All right, at 108%. Local man Matty, he's definitely at, at risk of dying, but it's gonna require, yeah, something like that blue throw. And once more, as soon as he gets it, he tosses the blue boy away. Seems that Maddie's starting to rely on. Man, the way that he's using that dash attack. He throws out moves, he dashes back in and out. And he's been landing a lot of them. Okay, yeah, looking for the really big punish, but Swingsy not actually giving it to him. Right, once again on that platform. Oh, he's Weeks, he's actually starting to challenge him up there. A lot of what had been going on is Matty was up on that platform and then he would come down with something like a forward air, you know, use a boomerang to help with his landings. And so now Swigzy is actually going in and intercepting him. Oh! He read it! The up smash right in his face. Matty had been playing that game so, so well. But you need to take it all away.